the way you do that. Um, I, I would think starting out logically, it'd be best to mix your colors before you put them in the airbrush. This is. Yeah, I, I don't have a position either way on that. But a Viking figure. I've decided to paint to stop my collection off the saga. It's going to be my leader. I'm not sure the quality of the film it's going to come out because as usual it's on a very tiny camera. It seems fairly in focus. Oh, he's looking pretty cool, I think, myself. It's a foundry figure. I do them on quite a discreet base, if I can. I'm not a fan of having them boarded unless it's a display piece. I mean, the base of these is some Stella Artois tokens. They were a promotional thing from a pub. I'll zoom in a bit, see if you can get a better look at the detail on him. I've done him a little voons down by him. With the um, voon for four carved into it. Just made it with a plaster. Put a shield on there for a bit of battle debris. Maybe just the skull. Left to some kind of devoutive offering to four and the pagan gods. He's got a raven on his shoulder, which is Odin's messengers, if I believe rightly. His sword's a little bit bent, it's two under, but because it's fused to his foot, without me hacking it off his feet, it was pretty much impossible to straighten. But all in all, I think um, it's a pretty impressive, impressive figure. Any other questions? Especially as a commander, which is why I've based him on such a big base. Anyway, that's it. See you later, folks.